Hello and welcome to my coding session where I am implementing my project Bucket Manager, a Java fix application for managing XML files which consists uh, a satellite channels information. So basically I'm proceeding further with my coding session and it goes like this. Here my situation currently. I have two classes with the same with the same methods and I thought about it and I give a thought I can actually create a super super class and make service class service list and set information to a uh, subclasses but I don't like this idea what I what I actually like even more I need to create a helper class which co which which will be called only when the method need to be called so it will, will it will work like this and I will show I will draw the line so I'm actually drawing axis axis not not the inheritance so let me just explain further so if if, if a server li services list need uh, some sort of um, helper method to do the work it calls this class and there you have some method which uh, returns some value and the same goes for the another class And in this way, I have I have uh, no dependency between two classes. Sure, the accessing util helper class, but util helper class will be used in such a way that each time when I when I need to use util helper, a new object is created and this object will serve to according uh, object of the service list or self information so each time when actually it called a new object is created maybe it's not so efficient way but i rather do this like like this way and do not uh, ha create some super classes i mean I can think about in the future but actually I don't like the idea that I need to create a super class for services list and set information mm, maybe when I have more than one satellite receiver to work then in this case it would make sense but in my case it doesn't make any sense so currently I'm just thinking about to create to make it easy stupid and very short so let's switch me let's I switch to the Eclipse and proceed further so here you have services this is the XML and I just compare the attributes which it has so set name, flex, position, and here I have position, dissect, okay. So let me just let me just continue the work and we will see how it goes. Okay, so now I just need to do following. So you see here transponder and it consists channel 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 list aha uh -huh. and i can all right so i have here this thing transponder frequency okay so it, uh, probably will be used later when i need to work with my set services list model 
and let's just uh, proceed further with the coding. So I have my let me just quickly point which I have opened. So set services model test, set center motion test, and actually I need to work with set service list test. Set service set services test. This is what I need to work with. So now let me just look in the same let me just look at set information. Okay, so I need to look look up uh, all the tests which I have here, set information test. Alright, so now I have better situation, so testing of the set services object without name and next test will be check flex not null, so here, here I have flex and do I have flex? I have no flex attribute in my services XML and in satellite, do I have satellite opened? Yeah, satellite XML. So flex is only unique value of the satellite. My I always compare attributes which I have to do. So let me just write then a checker for the position. And the position is uh, it corresponds to the position to this position. But it has only four four values. Let me just look look it up in my set information class. Set information class position set position is in integer. Mm, okay, so it is in integer in this case. Basically, I will pick up integer just for convenient convenience reasons, not for optimization. And I need to write a test, appropriate test for my position. So, set services test, and I need to write here a method. Uh, this almost has the same, almost the same signature. Let me just set inform set services test, set information test. Yeah, it has almost the same structure, but with a difference of. So let me just delete it. Check. If flex not null, in this case I will use just a position not null. I have my object set services object. And here I just need to call the getter. Get And of course, this is a, not a flag value, position value. Set services object. And let me just create, create the code in the class. And the, and the class which I'm about to work with is set services. 
here now here of course I need to work like, work like this integer just give a name set position and this actually corresponds to my XML for this value or for the position value all right so here I need just to create getter and setter Right. Getter and setter is created and I need to use it in my constructor. So here I just put my value set position and now just assign the value sys set position. And uh, then I need to work. I uh, just need to write input. Let me just write input. Input, input, input set position. And I use this like this. And now I'm setting up the satellite position. And what I need to do further let me just quickly think save it so now I did set up the input set position and I can test this code set services test and I need to call it I need to call it up Clips experience some problems. Let me just let me just close it because it is kind of confusing when you always see this message. Uh, now this should work. All right, so here I have the situation. Now I can save it and now I can execute the tests. And ow. Oh, I almost, I almost forgotten to assign a value. It is important to because I need to create a mockup for this. Like this. I just I need to pass a value. Now I have I have this and let me just um, ah okay so here here I need to make sure new such services list ah so basically another such services object. Uh, okay, so do I have a constructor for this? Basically, don't have a. Yep, I need to create another constructor. Let me just reuse this code. This constructor only work with input sat name. And then I just need to do this like this and this should work right so now I have corrected this mistake let me just do this I don't like this line and just execute my test and look up is it working at all Mm. So I I got a now okay. This is actually what I did expected, and 
why I got an all probably 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 set service object and I got the not because I didn't set up my position <laughs> simple things like that but you see I did a failing test I did read a written a failing test now I just need to assign some value and yep I will just use it I just will use it this value now here I am assigning this value to the position and this should work let's just run the test Yahoo I'm passing my test all right so what is next in the list and I have uh, Dysic and I think Dysic is a kind of uh, unique value in my case do I have this value do I have control E satellites XML yeah Dysic is a unique value of my services XML well this is a kind of interesting situation because now I need to think about data type Dysic 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 let me just open my knowledge file to my knowledge file and look to the specification how Dysic how big Dysic can become and you see here so Dysic can be one it can be be two and it can be it can be free so I need to use rather a short value and I mean not by the data type I just need to look it up uh, to my understanding so if I will use the byte it can have values between my minus 128 and 127 and Dysic basically basically I will use the byte for this and in my set service model I need to check uh, the value I just make me a note check Dysic in set service model because Dysic has a range is a validity range it can hold the value from 1 to to 3 at maximum 1 to 0 1 to 3 so let me just create an appropriate test and as I said earlier the range of the attributes I check in my models not in the plain old Java object objects so basically I'm creating here just another value check if Dysic not now do I write it right Dysic okay here's my Dysic I just need to make it bigger Dysic not now and here my code and I do basically the same stuff byte and I just need to write here Dysic value and the same code goes here get and I just need to write here get sat Dysic 
and that's it and just to to check it if I got an owl and let me just quickly think oh yeah okay so I need to pass here the value and now I just need to save it and in order to be able to work with this, I just need to run it to show you that I have a failing test. That I have written, it. okay, it fails, it's okay. So now I need to pass this test. And how I do passing this test? Now I need to switch to my set services list. And I did forgot, ah, byte, byte, okay, I'm using byte. So in my set service list I create private here I create byte set dissect I just need to write here at get and set uh, just let me just think where I'm doing I'm just doing here source code Create get on setter, generate get on setter, and here are the values. Alright, so this was one part, and here I need to uh, let me just put it like this. Maybe it's too prematurely, so let me just put here a new line. And just write here byte set dysic set so I need to write here input set dysic so let's continue with this stuff so in or in order to be able to pass the test, I'm passing this value to my constructor and I need to assign my value. Mm -hmm. Looking, this looks good. And I, as I said earlier, maybe at some point I will create this helper class, but I don't need to do this right now at the moment. And basically, I will show you my next thinking process when I finish this class so <coughs> I need to write this and execute my test and I see I have a yep I need to use write getter let me just this is wrong class let me just go <coughs> let me just go here where I have to use my class and need to to do to, to use the right method here I'm <coughs> using the right method now I need to assign I need to create a mockup value so I creating a mockup value and here I'm using byte and here I need to let me just write it here set by set dysic now just like that in here I need to of course assign some value to my dysic and what it should be um, let me just quickly think my services so DICIC is 2, so DICIC <coughs> is actually a device, when you have satellite dish, you configure your mm, special device, which you allow to use different satellite, satellite uh, systems, and this is actually interesting stuff, so DICIC is always a unique value of the satellite so I need to just to look it up 
need to look it up the string value and here you have see you have static one static zero static two so basically in my case it does not matter it will it will have a matter when I write my set services um, model list I mean the set services how I did name it set set services model yeah it will be meta only when I work with my set services model and in the set services model I will check check the range but here in this case it does not matter so now I need to assign this value I need to pass it to pass this value to my constructor in order to be able to run my test now I'll, I just need to run my test who is passing so what is what is next in the agenda now let me just quickly click uh, and think so I'm checking the if not now if not now so and that's it ah okay and I have here some methods. Uh, set information is set information test. Yeah, set information test. All right. So next thing to do in the mm -hmm. order of testing, <coughs> I just need to look it up my services XML and. I have here things like transponder ID and now it's kind of interesting because it is here I have first level of XML second level of XML and third hmm it kind of it kind of will be challenging but I can deal with it so what what should I do next how I should structure my code many transponders in each transponder has a channel many channels one transponder can have many channels should I separate it but then it will be kind of ugly <coughs> I think this is like the part where you should think about about data structure and how I actually solve it in my information class Now let me just look it up. Okay, so I'm just just I'm just using just using the kind of list 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 list. Uh -huh, okay, so I'm thinking about how I should save this information, how I should structure this information. And when I copy this structure to my where have my whiteboard? Here's my whiteboard. And basically basically the data saved in such way I just I don't need to write anything I just use colors and comma 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 and the corresponding value here so 
so I like to use colors when they represent data now this looks kind of interesting so this is the way I'm actually um, working so I have here corresponding values and here corresponding values and here corresponding values okay this is my way how I do this for such case but but now I have for for the for the saving of the data I need to use some sort of a different type of data structure and let me just quickly quickly try to to model it and let me just so basically where is the problem I need to be I need to make sure that each transponder has corresponded channel so there, there should be a, some sort of a rela there is a re relation between channel and the transponder. Very interesting. And how I should be able to deal with it. <coughs> okay. So after some sort of uh, modeling process, which I have done. <clears throat> I came to conclusion that in order to be able to work it out I need another two classes let me just quickly explain which I have draw so this is a XML so this is an example of the service XML and it consists unique values for the about satellite and it consists of a unique value about transponder ID and the contents of the of this transponder ID. I basically have marked the, the channel service ID. So and I think actually the proper way will be to do it like this. The set services list should consist a transponder list. The transponder list looks like this. It consists a unique information about one transponder and his channel list. The channel list I'm getting from the another class which is a channel. This channel is a simple plain old Java object and this is um, transponder it is the same plain old Java object and third service list is the same plain old Java object so basically I did split its information because think about set service list represents one satellite services a, ser a satellite has services, number of services, and if you show, sure, you can you can try to model stuff directly in set services, but I don't like it. It does not make any sense in this kind of modeling and in the class name. But here I have directly. Uh, some sort the direct relations I have my transponder the transponder has unique values and the same goes to my channel channel class uh, the channel class is unique too and this is the kind of pattern which I actually like to use and you see First of all, I didn't give 
I didn't give a, a thinking a thinking process about this. I did it uh, when it has a need to, to do it. So my data structure is not complete, but it is interesting situation. So another question which is need to be need to be clear out. Um, how I deal with let me just delete all not needed stuff. How I will deal with uh, creation of such structure because I have my model and the model as you know I use for creation in the factory build a factory pattern and let me just delete it first the stuff here at whiteboard so I'm actually thinking about it's all not nice and clean so in order to be able to do it like in this in this way let me just clear it um, so how I should proceed further so I have I have my set services and need to draw it small because I will basically do it like this set services set services model model gets hold of JDOM document which consists a data the data which was written from the services XML after that I need to split this information and so how I should split it this is a big question I mean sure I have I have to split the information for each of the satellite and then I'm splitting um, for each of the transponder and each of the channel so I have a for loop and for loop and for loop in the different kind of methods it can become ugly and basically I'm thinking about to, to have special builders like mm, to use free builders first I have a builder for the channel and let me just do this right so builder for channel which creates me which creates a builder uh, which creates a channel object and then I have then I need to create a special builder for other stuff So imagine things like this and let me just do it smaller. So basically what I'm trying to achieve with this kind of modeling is is a understanding of what I should do next. And this is actually quite a, a good thing because you never know, you never know what you should do next. So builder, builder for transponder and
let me just oops uh, yeah it was not needed stuff let me just can we kill it okay so sorry for this and I need a builder for I need a builder for transponder and here in the set services in the set services model I have in the set services model I have a for loop which which um, is a have a builder for set services list all right so <clears throat> it looks not right now more it is <clears throat> it has some complexity but actually it's quite over simplification of the stuff and why I do what why I have to why I have a need to to use separate separate builders I think it is the most thing about my previous experience uh, with uh, creating set set model class because you saw the code in my set model class get some sort of big and why I don't like when I have write so much code I'm I'm liking to express my stuff with a more with a less code but with more intent so and basically how how it should go the set service model have some sort of basically will have some sort of a for loop which loops through the satellites during this looping I have to use I have to use my my other classes for builder for, for building a channel so so it calls uh, maybe maybe I just make it natural order of stuff Oops. So basically, I just need to sort my stuff here. Yeah, didn't like it that it is so much in the length. So now let's just look. Let's just look at this picture. What happens next? My set services model he calls up the builder for transponder, he calls up builder for channel. And let me just briefly explain what I am thinking about. So the set service model gets a JDOM document. And I'm looping through this JDOM document. Uh, I'm look. I'm looping to the set services list. I'm creating set services list. This is once again is a set. Actually, it's not a list. It is a set of set services. I need to. I need just to edit this because I have I once again unique values to to work with. Uh, let me just do it like this. So here I have. Can I edit? Uh, where I cannot edit it? I think. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. So basically, I have here not a list. This is not a list, but rather a set. Why I have a set? Because it is the same thinking thinking pattern. 
does my elements I create? No. Does the element which I have work to do are unique? Yes. Each of the sets, uh, each of the services are unique because they are belong to one satellite. So I have three uh, three services lists, and uh, they each of the elements belong to the separate satellite. So basically, the order is not so important. I will use the same the same tree set that I use for satellite, and because uh, to simplify the stuff, just to simplify the stuff, and because of of the fact that the tree list basically they have uh, some sort of order I think when I think about this the tree set have a natural order and they are some sort of assorted but what basically for me it is important at this at this point that basically I did decided to split the information from of my set services list and of the relation each of the set services set services list basically I don't like it the name is kind of <laughs> once again naming naming conventions set services are they consist an information about Sat name, sat position, sat dice and they are holding a transponder list, and in this list, each element contains a transponder, and the transponder itself has the contents of the channel. And I think this is an appropriate way because basically the relationship has a, has a so a transponder has a channel list. The set services has a transponder list. But one second important thing, maybe it's not second important thing. Sorry, first important thing. It, it is about how I would go to create such data structure. My set services model gets hold of JDOM document then he creates a set of services which consist of the builder uh, the builder will be used for creating a transponder object and then this will be assigned to the set services list per constructor probably after that i mean I mean following so I need to go from from the smaller smaller part of this stuff and the people say so what do you actually mean how how you how you actually access will access this uh, some sort of a object and let me just let me just use some sort of a different whiteboard Maybe if I can generate second whiteboard, you will understand more. And basically, what I'm trying to achieve, this is the object which I will create. The object name is. Uh, let me just put it here. So ba basically, the object name will be set services list set services list it is a object this is the object which I have to, to work with and this object will consist another another object oops sorry guys uh, let me just pick the form polar I just pick, pick the green Oh, so it's uh, some sort of <laughs> okay. That's not matter. So here, can I put the color? 
Okay, so the next object which I create in this object is transponder. Transponder Oops, where is this? So basically I need to make it bigger and sorry guys it takes some time but it was kind of um, yeah I am in my thinking process it's it's not so always it's not always structured my thinking process is not always structured as I, I, <laughs> as I would like it but anyway I see that I'm almost at one hour let me just quickly draw my stuff and why I cannot change the color I don't like it when I cannot change the color so let me just write the stuff and just delete it I don't need this so let me just delete the stuff I don't need this all right so once again I have a service list uh, and then I have in the service list other things like this maybe maybe I just do the separation of the stuff so I need to create separate objects here this is not such uh, easy to use now I have another object with another color let me just use blue and this will be the channel so I think I just need to to have to create so service set list yeah the naming should be done properly next time and let me just all right so here here i go i create my service set list which consists of a transponder and now i cannot move it which consists of a transponder object all right and here i just need to make sure that i'm all right so sorry for the delay in such such meta and now i need to can i Now it goes like this. All right, so let me just quickly make a notation here. Not always it gets it gets through. Uh, no way. How can I put it? Basically. What I'm trying to achieve, uh, image. Okay, so I have to write it basically. So here I have my transponder. A transponder, and here I have my channel. And First I create my channel, uh, then I assign my channel object to the transponder and of course I have not only one channel, I have many many channels in one transponder. So I basically assign not a one channel, zone, I mean I assign a channel list. I assign a channel list to my transponder and transponder itself is not one transponder but a list of transponders 
and the list of transponders I assigned to the satellite service set list. I hope it makes sense. I hope it makes sense. But basically, this is how I need to, to structure my da data. This is actually a proper way to, to structure the data. And let me conclude with my modeling stuff. I did not have this model previously. It took me time to create. And you saw the, my thinking process. But this is basically what needs to be achieved. And the next section and in the next session I will basically work my way from the channel to to the transponder and after I have done these things with my transponder channel basically I then just need to work my way to the set services list and after I have done so I now after completing my set services list then I just need to work way, my way with set services model and in the set services model I will just work once again with a builder and the builder so basically only at the end I will work with my set services model so it will be quite a fun to work with so thank you all until next till next bye bye